Hey guys, this is your girl Felicia Asumani, creator of PoweredLifeCoaching.com. Welcome to today's webinar. Today we're going to learn how to fool our bodies with energy. Let me ask you a quick question, okay? How is your energy level lately or even last month? Are you constantly weak and tired? low motivation for anything and you are constantly struggling to concentrate on anything that you place your mind on and another thing that i would like to know is that are you the kind who always need caffeine boost in order to help you go by your day if any of the descriptions that i already mentioned fits you and your eyelids are constantly drooping then you want to hang with me for just a few minutes today as I'm going to show you how to take charge of your body and your energy and restore it to the way it ought to be, to the optimum, okay? So you can thrive in life and become more productive with your goals, aspirations, and dreams. Food, food. Did you know that food is fuel for your body? You see, just as a car requires gasoline to run, so does our body require fuels for energy. But unlike a car, which usually uses gasoline or diesel, the fuel for our bodies usually come from the nutrients in the food we eat. Therefore, attending to our body's nutritional needs is one of the best ways to address the problem of fatigue and tiredness and weaknesses. So let's begin with a little lesson on nutrition. I promise you this is really going to be the short and most engaging, fun lessons on nutrition you've ever encountered, okay? I'm going to make it short, crisp and very simple so you understand the energetics of food and how it relates to your body and what really happens when you eat and how your body literally breaks down the food into energy sources that it can use all right first of all let's define what nutrients are we've heard it many times nutrients nutrition nutrients nutrients what really is a nutrient you know nutrients are literally defined as substances in food that provide your body with energy and provide building materials that the body needs for growth, one, repair, two, and daily activities and functions. So pretty much that is what a nutrient is. It's the substance in food that provides our bodies with energy and building materials that the body needs in order for it to function properly, repair its broken parts, and also allows it to grow. Okay. Now, I know that many of us are very familiar with what the digestive system does and what it's all about. But in summary, pretty much, um, breaking down food is the main function of the digestive system. And when it comes to our digestion, what happens is that when the digestive system breaks down the food, it releases several kinds of nutrients. And this includes the main nutrients which are carbohydrates protein and fats and oils so those are the three main sources of energy for the body and we usually define them as macronutrients the reason why we call them macronutrients because they are the main energy sources that the body needs in order for it to function at its optimum all right now the carbohydrate pretty much is the main source of energy you know it breaks it down into glucose and that's what the body uses to release energy the next source of nutrient is protein and usually protein are usually the building blocks of um, of, of our bodies that's what the body uses to repair broken pieces and to rebuild a part of the body okay and now fats we all know about fats of course we all know what fat is but fat really is the nutrient that contains the most energy. So most of the time, the body stores a lot of the unused carbohydrates as fats. 
So when you eat excess food, the body stores them in our bodies as fat so that it can keep you warm. It can use it also for future usage. So having fat is not a bad thing. So let, let me just make it simple. I know we've had a lot of media on fat being bad, but the body needs fat in order for it to keep us warm, for example. The body also stores fats in our bodies to also protect our organs from toxins and other harmful substances that might kill us if it wasn't the fats in our body. So fat in itself is not a bad thing. It actually is needed for the body to function at its optimum. The body also needs another type of nutrients that we call micronutrients. And as the name implies, it means that it's needed in small amounts. In other words, your body and my body just need little amounts of these nutrients in order for it to work. So it doesn't need too much like the macronutrients. Nevertheless, it is needed. And these nutrients include vitamins and minerals. Now, vitamins are nutrients that help our bodies perform specific functions, including absorbing and using other nutrients. In other words, some nutrients in our body would not be able to be absorbed by the body without key vitamins. So the vitamins helps our bodies to absorb certain nutrients in the body. Also, vitamins help keep us strong and healthy. But I need you to know that our bodies does not make most vitamins. That is why it is essential that we eat food that are rich in multivitamins. You know what I mean? We have the vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin K, and all kinds of vitamins. So it's needed that we eat the right kind of food that provides enough variety of vitamins for our bodies. The next set of um, micronutrient is the minerals you know minerals are nutrients that helps the body release energy from the food we eat so just like vitamins which help absorb other nutrients minerals actually help the body release the energy from the food that we eat okay and also minerals help keep our bones and teeth stronger and also help our, our cells function at its optimum as well so we need both uh, vitamins and minerals in order for the body to work well you can't just depend solely on macronutrients you also need the micronutrients in order for the body to work and release the energy that it needs for the performance it ought to, to perform all right now that we have just completed our little lesson on nutrition 101 let's go straight ahead on today's topic on how to fool our body with energy so we start off strong with our main key point which is timing you know they always say that timing is everything and when it comes to fooling our bodies there is no exception to this rule this is because to maintain your energy level you must strive to fool your body consistently throughout the day yes you heard me strive to fool your body consistently throughout the day you can start this off by starting your day right by eating a healthy breakfast very simple right as simple as it sounds unfortunately many people feel like they are too busy to eat breakfast every morning but then what we don't realize is that skipping breakfast actually sets us up for failure because we are more likely to eat a large lunch to compensate for the missed meal so if you are currently skipping a meal then I'll urge you to experiment by eating or drinking a nutritious snack and monitoring how you are feeling so if you know you have a tendency to skip breakfast why don't you think about making a quick smoothie or grab an energy drink in your car as you go by your daily activities or let's say you go to work plan your meal the day before make your overnight oatmeal snack whatever you have to do but make sure you grab something quick to get you back as a general rule eating three meals each day in addition to two to three meals uh, snack in between meals uh, in between meals can actually provide your body with adequate energy necessary for optimal health and we'll go more into that as we go further into this webinar okay 
but if you have a tendency to skip meals then I will urge you to plan your meals ahead of time do it overnight plan 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 it doesn't have to be anything fancy you can decide to buy whole wheat cereals or oatmeal or you know get a drink energy drink that will allow you to get on the go all right now the next point that i would like us to consider is also the type of food that we choose to eat this is also very vital and imperative okay you really are what we eat what we put in our mouth determines the outcome of our well-being our performance and how we feel so it's really 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 necessary that if we are looking for a higher quality of life that we must also consider the quality of the food we are eating. For example, if you're gonna eat carbohydrate, make the majority of them in high quality. In other words, eat whole grains, at best fresh veggies, frozen, or you can even eat canned veggies. It's better than eating no veggies at all. Same applies to legumes as well. For example, when you eat high quality carbs, they provide you with sustained energy because they contain abundant and natural occurring vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, and fiber. Now, these are important nutrients that we need with digestion to help us also to maintain the controlled absorption of glu glucose and also to keep help us to stay full and help keep our blood sugar stable. These are really, really, really important uh, considerations when we are thinking about eating carbohydrates so the next time you grab any carb to eat ask yourself is this carb a high quality nutrient that will allow me to thrive or is it going to feed on a disease that will cause my health to deteriorate and also cause me to sink more in low energy also i need you to know that low quality carbs such as white bread white rice or candy for example uh, are more processed and they have little or no natural fiber at all in them and are usually high in sugar and this can cause our blood sugar level to spike okay and initially you get a burst of energy for a short period of time which usually lasts between 20 to 30 minutes and then our blood sugar rapidly begins to drop leaving us feeling more tired and weaker and drained so you want to consider that the next time you place white bread in your mouth or white rice consider the effect it's going to have on you it's a short energy burst but after that you're going to pay a big price for that the next point is another key note that we need to consider okay it's about staying hydrated you see when it comes to our bodies hydration plays a major 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 factor because our bodies technically is 80% of water so if you're not drinking enough fluids imagine the impact it's gonna have on you and your energy level when our bodies become dehydrated what really happens is that we begin to feel less energetic and it may make it more difficult focusing on anything so to ensure that we have properly hydrated we need to drink enough water during the day please 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 it's great to drink other sweetened solvents and you know liquids but please make sure you drink at least 60% of the fluids you drink a day should be water okay this allows us to really operate and function at our optimum and the recommended intake usually with any water is supposed to be half your body weight of water in ounces so if you are 160 pounds, you need to be drinking 80 ounces of water a day. Now you've been wondering, I don't know how to calculate. Don't worry about the ounces and all that. Just drink more bottled water. Drink, keep drinking. And you should, even if you drink four bottles of water a day, that you know is taking care of at least 80% of your water intake that is needed. So proper hydration is essential and critical to maintain effective body functioning. And if you're not drinking enough of water, you are not allowing your body to be energized. Also, consider energy boosting fluids like coconut water. Coconut water literally carries a lot of natural uh, energy uh, bursting nutrients that will allow you to stay hydrated all day. 
also you might take need of like smoothies afternoon smoothies that will give you a quick energy boost if you don't like smoothies you can also go for energy drinks but i always recommend that go for more of the natural energy boosting drinks there are a lot of drinks out there that call themselves energy drinks but they are really full of artificial flavors and more of chemicals that really are sucking the energy out of you actually so please 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 if you're gonna go for energy boosting drinks outside of water go for ones that are less sugar less chemicals and more of natural sources all right another point to consider also is food combination see the best way to keep your energy level stable is to eat a combination of high quality carbs with a lean protein source or healthy heart, um, healthy fat technically so find a way to combine the three main source of meals the three main energy sources and combine them in a creative way that you know you'll have an adequate intake of those three okay and also having as much as you as long as you're eating the three main source of energy which is carbs great carbs good protein good fat don't worry about the vitamins and the minerals because they are really locked inside the food we are eating anyway all right as i already mentioned to you before um to help optimize your energy level make sure that you fuel your body consistently each day by enjoying three wholesome nutrient rich meals along with two to three healthy and satisfa satisfying snacks in other words don't wait to eat a massive meal don't starve yourself eat small small foods throughout the day keep drinking some energy drinks eat that fruit one bowl of fruit eat one apple a day for example or one banana eat one granola you know combine different foods snack 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 munch on healthy food throughout the day don't starve yourself don't because if you skip a meal and you don't eat properly what happens is that when you grab the junk food you're going to eat mass massive amount of that and that will not serve you right so make sure that you spread your whole day calculate and make sure you plan your meals ahead of time so you can put little little shots of healthy foods in it that way you can take charge of what really goes inside your mouth and end up properly energizing and fueling your body throughout the day because trust me what you put in is what you're gonna get so if you want more energy put in more energy boosting foods all right also exercise has been known studies have shown it over and over and over again that they help increase our energy levels i know many of us hate exercising a lot of people do but the majority of us don't but when you go out and you take a walk for 30 minutes for example it, it releases energy into your body and so if you are you are not a fan of exercising i would like to suggest simple walking don't make it complicated exercising is really really good for us when you exercise you are really releasing um, the energy that is locked up in our bodies to come out pretty much that's what it does it increases your heart rate it allows our bodies to you know increase in so many areas it brings so many uh, everything works properly in our bodies imagine having a car and it's just sitting at one place and it's not moving guess what everything in the part the, the car begins to die the parts begins to rust things begin not to function properly but as long as the car is constantly moving all the parts are also constantly in operation and that's what really happens to our bodies when we are not exercising we are really locking many of the energies cells in our body locked up but once we get it moving that's what it's doing it naturally boosts the blood flow to the brain and throughout the whole body which can help us prevent tiredness and fatigue and weaknesses so get yourself going put on your sneakers put on your t-shirt put on your your your, your 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 shorts whatever it makes you comfortable put on that headphone on play some quick music that will get you running jogging sit-ups push-up whatever exercise you enjoy for me personally i enjoy swimming so 
I'll just go to the gym or go to the swimming pool or the YWCA and just get swimming. Or you can just go out and jump around. Whatever it gets you moving, just get moving, all right? Now, this is one of my favorite of all times. Short, short, short naps. I love me some naps. Trust me. I call it my quick naps, okay? Anybody who knows me knows Felicia loves her naps. Yes. And I'm so glad that studies have shown that even if we take a 30 minutes nap, okay, it can go a long way by giving you four hours of energy for your body. I know, right? It sounds weird, but it's the truth. If you will just try it out, if you feel tired, and especially in the afternoons, just go and give yourself 30 to 45 minutes nap or call it power nap and just sleep. You will be amazed how energized you can go throughout the day. So if you've not thought about it, I would like you to try it, okay? A power nap has been known to boost our memories, also our cognitive skills and our creativities as well. So those are added bonuses that comes with by just sleeping for 30 minutes. So if you're not a fan of somebody who sleeps a lot, who don't like sleeping at all, maybe you need to increase your sleeping time. If you're not having adequate eight hours of sleep every night, maybe quick naps would do for you, all right? Sneak out and just take out a little short, 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 short naps. It will go a long way, giving you more energy to get more done. And you would thank me at the end of the day. Now, there are other things too that gives us more energy, which may not necessarily be a direct food intake, but some things that has to do with our mindset, our will, and our emotions, you know, and it's important we consider that as well, you know. For example, when you are always in a toxic relationship or you have, you are always in a toxic emotion, you are depressed, you are anxious, you are not happy in life, those things can literally drain your energy. They do, they, do, they actually do. They make you more weak because you don't have any sense of purpose, a sense of uh, reason to be excited, you know? So you wanna consider that, uh, that as well. If you know that you have an area of your life you're struggling, I would suggest that you seek help. Don't dwell in that negative lifestyle. It's not gonna help you, all right? Also engage more in your passions and interests. They literally get you excited. You know, passions literally energizes us. What you are passionate about, you will spend your whole time on it and it get, gives you more drive more energy to get going so make sure that you engage more in your passions and your interests all right also be intentional plan get get involved make sure that you you cultivate the and nurture the relationships that you have plan things that will make you happy in life you know don't just leave things to chances. Don't just procrastinate your life. You know, plan, plan, plan. Get intentional. Decide to be happy in life. Decide to go after your goals and your dreams. Whatever will make you live life to your fullest potential. Okay? That is what life is all about. And when you get involved in things like that, they make you come alive. They energize you. And you can do more. Also, take supplements. Supplements gives you the added boost that you need that our, our food are depletes of because nowadays the food we eat is not enough as much as you we can eat all the organic foods and fresh local produce it's still not giving us all the nutrients we need so let us take advantage of new uh, supplements and nutraceuticals there are a lot of them out there today if you need help i'll ask you to go to your primary physician or doctor and let them suggest based on your biological needs what you need to get you going and then you can add to it all right now as i already mentioned to you all of these things are just suggestions and for educational purposes but you know yourself and you know your body more than anybody else and there is a, a saying in that what works for one person may not work for another in other words one man's food may be another man's poison what might work for mr a may not necessarily work for mr b so you need to know what really works for your body and once you find what works for you i would suggest you stay right there don't try to add something else that may not be helpful for your well-being so know what fuels your body 
There are some of us who thrive more with carbohydrate-rich foods and proteins. Some of us feel more full with food that are rich in fat than protein. So once you figure out what works for your body, based on your biological needs, I will humbly urge that you stay right there, all right? Because your biological needs is completely unique to you, just as your fingerprint is completely unique to just you, all right? And when you find out what works for you, stay right there. All right, friends, so this brings me to a close to today's webinar. I hope I was able to share just a quick and easy ways for you to stay energized throughout your body. It doesn't matter how your energy level is or how, how it has been in the past. You can make up your mind that today is a new day to start afresh. And just by changing the lifestyle habit, a little food choices and adjusting it here and there, you can fine tune it and get your energy level bursting in a higher level you've never even imagined. Yes, you are what you eat. If you don't believe it, try eating junk food throughout the week. Just eat junk food in the morning, in the afternoon and evening for seven days straight and see how your body will act. In the same token, turn it the other way around. Eat highly nourishing foods seven days straight and see how you're gonna feel. Try this little tip that I shared with you and you will see a major improvement within a 24 hour period, all right? Now, if you need more help, I am here to help you do that. As a board certified health, life and business coach, is one of the things that I do that I'm passionate about and I do best, which is to cheer you on as you live life to your fullest potential. So whether you are thriving in your life and you need help to boost with your health, or maybe you need help to figure out yourself. Maybe you don't know your purpose in life. You don't know what to do and you are stranded. You feel stuck in life and you need help. I'm the girl for that. If you need help to figure out maybe your business and you don't know where to turn to, how to grow your business online with your branding messages, and you don't know what to do at all with your business, then count me in because that's what I'll do to help you grow in your life in your health and also thrive in your business all right i'm available for one-on-one -on -one consultation as a personal coach i'm also available for group coaching as well as as a keynote speaker for your event let's say you are a ministry or you have a, an organization and you need your members to grow in their health and well-being or you need help with life coaching principles or you need you just need help get in touch with me i'm available for all that I also offer um, corporate wellness, you know, for businesses. If you are an entrepreneur, you have employees and you want to um, show them how to be more productive. You know, the food they eat play a major role. I can come and do lunch and learn programs and workshops and even help your organization develop a healthy meal plan environment that will allow your employees to be healthy because happy employees equals healthy employees if you really have healthy employees it means you're going to increase your profit margin technically speaking right as simple as that so get in touch with me my email address is info at poweredlifecoaching.com info at poweredlifecoaching.com i'm also on social media on instagram as powered life coaching as well as on facebook as the powered life or just in, uh, find me out on Felicia, Felicia as many on social media. I'm available as well. And um, we're going to get in touch with you on what to do with you. All right. You can also um, go visit their website at www.poweredlifecoaching.com. www.poweredlifecoaching.com. It should have all the information about my services and what I can do to help you grow in life, thrive in life, and become the healthiest version of yourself in everything, in your business, in your health, and in your life. Until next time, this is Felicia, creator of PoweredLifeCoaching.com. Thanks again for joining me in this webinar. Cheers to your best health.